hey what's going on guys in this video i will show you how i edit empty bullet shell casing when the gun is firing in this tutorial i use CapCut application but you can use other application if you have different application just like kind master so without further ado let's get started first i search on youtube bullet shell for rifle green screen so there's a lot of bullet shell casing green screen here in youtube what i just want to use is this video so shout out to this channel green screen now that i have the video i like to use i just have to download it to mp4 format and now i'm just gonna open up the CapCut application click on new project and choose the bullet shell casing i just downloaded and now i'm ready to edit the video first thing to do is copy the video and next click on the first video clip and click on overlay it should look like this next we click on the overlay video and then we resized it we make it a large size to hide the bullets we just have to make sure that the screen will just be on green screen and nothing is shown now that there's only green screen I then click the overlay video and copy the video next I resize the second overlay video into a smaller video and then I reposition the second overlay video just like this after that I edit this bullet shell casing to move from right side of the screen to the upper left side of the screen just like this to make the bullet shell casing move I split the second overlay video each time the bullet shell casing turns after making a first split of the second overlay video I then click on the second split video and reposition it just a little bit up left of the first split video. Next, I split the video again to the part when the bullet turns again. And I just repeat the process until the bullet shell casing reaches the top left side of the screen. And it looked like this. And lastly, I just split and delete the unnecessary part of the video and the whole video looked like this and finally I exported the video next I just go back to CapCut again and search for the bullet shell casing I just edited for this part I changed the speed of the video I changed it to 3 times speed after changing the speed of the video, all I had to do is to copy the video until the video reaches the 10 seconds timeline. But you can choose more than 10 seconds if you want. And it looked like this. Finally, I just exported the video. Next. I open up a video I want to add some bullet shell casing by the way guys this video is already been edited with muzzle flash smoke effects and sound effects so I just have to add some bullet shell casing effects and this is how it looks without bullet shell casing effects And this is how I add bullet shell casing effects with the gun. So I click on add overlay to add the bullet shell casing effects I just edited. After adding the video, I just resize it into smaller video. So the bullet shell casing will look more realistic. In adding bullet shell casing, I make sure that it is placed where the bullet shell casing goes out in a real gun. And I just align the bullet shell casing video to the muzzle flash video. 
so that each time the gun fires, a bullet shell casing goes out from the gun. After that, I remove the green screen by using chroma key. And by the way guys, this edit is for one shot only. So I had to use the single bullet shell casing effects that I first made earlier. But I will also show you how I do it when the gun is firing rapidly. So after I set up the bullet shell casing effects, I just repeat the process if needed. And this is how it looked. So after adding bullet shell casing effects, I then go to YouTube and search for falling bullet shell casing sound effects. You can find a lot of bullet shell casing sound effects here guys, but what I like to use is this one. Because I can use it for single fire and rapid firing. And now I just added the falling bullet shell casing to the video. And just search it on the sounds effects. And from the device. And here it is. Now in adding bullet falling sound effects, I just have to make sure that it is placed after the gun sound effects played just like this. And I just repeat the process every time the gun fire. And this is how it sounds like. Now in adding bullet shell casing effects, while the gun is firing rapidly, I have to use the 10 seconds bullet shell casing duration that I just made earlier. Now what I do is, I first align the bullet shell casing effects video to the muzzle fire video. And then I split the bullet shell casing effects video when the gun stops firing and next I just use the remaining part of the bullet shell casing video and align it again to the next shot of the gun if the gun is still rapid firing and I just have to reposition the bullet shell casing effects from the part of the gun where it has to go out to make it look realistic and this is how it looked Now in adding bullet falling sound effects in rapid firing, what I do is I add 2 to 3 or more bullet falling sound effects every time the gun stops rapid firing depending on how long the gun rapid fires and repeat the process for each time the gun rapid fires. And it sounds like this. So I also made a closer look for this edit guys so that we can make a comparison if we made this edit in closer view and far view. By the way guys, if you're still watching at this point, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribe and click on the notification bell so you won't miss any of my new videos.
So that's it guys. Thanks for watching.